Hey friends, today we're bringing you our countdown of the top 10 best places to live in the Midwest. And these aren't just random picks. We're looking at spots that shine when it comes to three big factors. Yep, affordable housing, top-notch recreation, and economic prosperity. This list isn't just about pretty towns. We dug into data from the U.S. Census Bureau and spoke with local real estate experts to get the lowdown. So if you're dreaming of a move, buckle up. Number 10. Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Now, some people hear Iowa and think cornfields, but Cedar Rapids is where Google just poured in $576 million. They must know something we don't, right? Oh, kitty, I know it because Cedar Rapids is great. It's got a great mix of affordability and opportunity. According to livability.com, it ranks high for inclusivity and innovation. Plus, you can get a nice house here for around $190,000. Sounds like a deal to me. Well, for anyone used to big city prices, that sounds just like a fairy tale. Plus, they're on top of transportation and healthcare. So if you're looking for a place with a growing tech scene and a cost of living that won't leave you eating ramen every night, Cedar Rapids might be calling your name. At number nine, it's Columbus, Ohio. This city might not be the first one that comes to mind. But with its affordable cost of living and solid job market, it's one of the fastest growing places in the country. And it's not just about jobs. Columbus has a fantastic food scene, especially for you bakers. Food and wine even called it a baking destination. So if you have a sweet tooth or a love for pastries, Columbus has you covered. That's it, kitty. I'm packing our bags. We are moving to Ohio. (laughs) All right. Ooh la la. Plus, the medium home price is just under $250,000. And with all the museums and galleries here, you'll have plenty to do without breaking the bank. Next up, number eight, Ann Arbor, Michigan, home of the University of Michigan. So yes, there's a college town feel, but this place is more than just frat parties and football games. Ann Arbor actually ranks in the top 15 cities to both live and retire in America. That is awesome. And with 160 parks and a killer food scene, it's the place to be if you like the outdoors and good eats. Medium home prices are around 500,000 though, so be sure to bring your wallet. But hey, for Wolverine, fans, you can't put a price on pride, right? That is right. Number seven is near and dear to us, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hey, our hometown, don't you know? That is right. This city's got several universities, Fortune 500 companies, and a thriving tech scene. It also has an impressive unemployment rate. And even if you don't know anyone, you'll have no trouble finding buddies at farmers markets, music festivals, or art galleries. Just remember, Minneapolis winters are not for the faint of heart. (laughs) Yes, but they are pretty. And pretty cold. Yes, and cold. And if you're okay with bundling up half the year, Minneapolis offers a vibrant lifestyle that you won't find in every city. Number six, Naperville, Illinois, just west of Chicago. This mid-sized city offers fantastic public schools and healthcare plus a family-friendly vibe. With 200 neighborhoods to choose from, you are sure to find your niche. 200 neighborhoods, I like that. With a medium home price of around $565,000 though, it's on the pricier side for the Midwest. Oofta, but it's got diversity, community events, and plenty of amenities. If you're looking for a place to raise a family in Illinois, Naperville's got you covered. Moving on to number five, Carmel, Caramel, or Carmel, Indiana. Carmel. (laughs) Say it any way you want. Just move there already. (laughs) Yes, just an hour's drive from Indianapolis, Carmel was recently ranked as the best place to live in America by livability.com. It's got a strong culture scene with festivals, art shows, and performance venues. The schools are also highly rated, so it's a great place for families. Home prices here are around $533,000, though, so it's definitely a place where you're paying for that high quality of life. Coming in at number four, we've got Chicago, Illinois. Museums, sports teams, a legendary food scene. Chicago's got all the big city benefits without New York or LA prices. And let's not forget that Chicago's diversity is unmatched. Plus, with a median home price of about $296,000, you can find something reasonable without giving up your firstborn baby. For big city lovers who want the Midwest charm, Chicago has the best of both worlds. Number 
number three on our list is St. Louis, Missouri. Ah, it's an affordable option for anyone looking to live in a place with rich history and culture. St. Louis also has a great school system and tops Zillow's list for first-time homebuyers. And with a medium home value around 177000 it is a first-time buyer's dream. Oh, and let's not forget Forest Park, named the best park in the country last year. You'll have endless free fun in one of the largest urban parks in the entire U.S. Number two, Cincinnati, Ohio. This city is family friendly with tons of parks. Kitty, get this. 10% of the entire city is green. I love that. I love that. And with a median home price of around $240,000, you're not breaking the bank either. Cincinnati's culinary scene is buzzing, so foodies, this might be your spot. And don't sleep on the schools. Cincinnati's got strong education options, making it ideal for families. Finally, our number one spot, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Green yes, Bay, Green Wisconsin. Bay, home of the Packers and surprisingly the best place to live in the U.S., according to U.S. News. With an unemployment rate of just 3.1% and a cost of living below the national average, Green Bay is affordable and booming. Plus it has cheese curds. Plus, it has cheese curds. And medium home prices are over $130,000 lower than the national median. Plus, it has cheese curds. <laughs> yes, it has cheese curds. And guys, it's right on Lake Michigan, so you get lakeside beauty without the crazy prices. Plus, it has cheese curds. Yes, I know. Kitty, that's not what I was going to say. Really? And really, I was going to say, plus, it's known as the toilet paper capital of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you forgot about that. How could I forget about that? Guys, Green Bay is a big deal in the toilet paper world. It all started way back when with Northern Paper Mills, which set up shop in 1901. Oh, no. By 1920, they were the top dog in toilet paper production. Their claim to fame? Making toilet paper? Not just any kind of toilet paper, Kitty. You gotta guess. I truly have no idea, and <laughs> honestly, I sort of just wish this video would end. <laughs> I bet our viewers do, too. No, Kitty, how could you say that Green Bay, Wisconsin gave the world the first splinter-free toilet paper? Way back in 1935. Yep, you heard me right. Splinter-free. Well, I guess splinter-free <laughs> toilet paper is pretty nice. Guys, the paper industry was a lifesaver for Wisconsin, especially during tough times like the Great Depression. Fast forward to today, and the paper biz still plays a big role in the local economy. With over 6,000 jobs in the area, it's clear that Green Bay's love affair with toilet paper is still going strong. Guys, Green Bay is a powerhouse in paper manufacturing. It leads the nation, pumping out $13.8 billion worth of paper products every year. Well, well well, thank you for today's history lesson, Professor. And did I mention they've also got cheese curds? All right, that's it. Vid <laughs> video is over. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> yeah, and if you've made it this far into the video, why don't you just hit the like button, then subscribe to the channel, and then let us know in the comments which place you'd move to. Or if we totally missed a hidden gem. Or if you're a fan of splinter-free toilet paper like me. <laughs> <laughs> and me. Thanks for watching, and remember, you, you deserve, deserve to feel good today. today.